Hello and welcome to Pandora FMS. In today's video, we will show you how to configure alerting in Pandora FMS using Telegram for notifications. For that, we will start from a very basic requirement such as having previously created a Telegram account. As for settings, this account will not be linked directly to sending messages. The next step is to create a bot, which Pandora FMS will use to send messages without the need for a specific account. Log into your account and look for the user BotFather. This chat with BotFather will help you create the bot that will later be the one you will use to send Pandora FMS alerts. As we see on screen when logging in, you are shown different parameters and instructions that you may use to create and manage bots. The one we're going to use in this case is slash new bot, which will allow you to create a new bot. The chat tells us the steps to follow to create it, where the first thing to do is to give it the name we want. We're going to call it Pandora underscore FMS underscore alert underscore bot, for example. It will automatically respond and ask us to give the bot a username, which must stand with the word bot. So we will give it the same username that we used before for the name Pandora underscore FMS underscore alert underscore bot. After executing these steps, it will return a response in which it will indicate a parameter that will be essential to be able to send the alerts later, the API token. This token is the one we will use to get authenticated with that bot. The next step will be to create a new group in Telegram, or you may use an existing one if you prefer so. That will be the one where you will receive the alerts. To that end, go to the menu and select New Group. Add the users from your contact list and of course the bot that we created just now, so that you can send messages to this group. To send messages from Pandora FMS, you will need the bot's token, which we already obtained, for the bot to be added to the group, as we did in the previous step, and finally the group's ID. So, identify the ID of the group. One of the easiest ways to do it would be to add a new bot that will allow you to obtain the group ID to be able to send messages from the CLI. There are other ways to get the group ID, but we will choose the one we mentioned, another bot. Just look for the contact with the following name, get IDs bot. You will see that when you add it, it shows different commands and the information you need and that we were talking about, the chat ID. Once you have this information, you may save the ID and if you wish so, delete the bot, since you don't need it at all. And in case you lose the ID and you need it again, it is as simple as adding the bot again and it will give you the information you need again. Once finished, you already have the necessary elements so that Pandora FMS can send messages. So now go to Pandora FMS server. There, start by installing Python 3 and PIP3 if you don't have them installed. For that, execute the commands that you see on the screen. Next, download the following file from Pandora FMS library, which will contain two files. We will install this in the path where the server plugins are hosted, in slash usr slash share slash Pandora underscore server slash util slash. You will see a txt that will be the first one we use. In the command line, execute this pip3 install r requirements.txt. This will download and install the required dependencies. Once the dependencies are installed, execute the other file that comes in the package that we downloaded pandora telegram cli.py h with a Python interpreter to see its help. That way, you will see the help of the script and the parameters required for its execution. If there's an error, you may check that at least the user has execution permissions. As we have seen in the help, the plugin requires three parameters, the bot's token and the group's ID that we obtained in the first steps and the message we want to send in text. If we carry out the execution manually in the terminal, we will have a line similar to the following. Each one with its group ID and bot token in an output in JSON format like the one we see if everything is correct. This will automatically send a message to your Telegram account. Finally, go to Pandora FMS console where you may configure the alert with this command, action and template to receive messages with information you wish. 
Start by creating the command. For that, go to the Alert command section. Click and create and fill in the necessary fields. The name that the command will have, the command itself, which will be like the execution we carried out before in the terminal, by replacing the values of the fields with macros that we will fill in below or even in the action. Group it will belong to. A description to add extra information. And finally, the custom fields that we added in the command's execution. The first refers to the bot's token and the second to the Telegram chat ID. So since they are fixed values and we're not going to use more chats in our case, you may define them directly in the fields next to it. Be careful to copy these codes correctly since, for example, in the case of the chat's ID, the script is part of that ID. In the message, leave the value field blank to configure the information you want to receive in the action. So go to that configuration. Here, create a new action. As we did before, give it a name, assign it to a group and choose the command that we just created. With this, the fields configured in the command will be enabled, of which the first two will already be filled in automatically and it will only be necessary to fill in field 3. For example, you may add a message like the following in which you may use macros to collect the information that you deem appropriate from the agents such as the agent and the model on which the alert will be triggered using the macros available in Pandora FMS alert system. For recovery, you may set a similar command by changing the start of a message. The last thing we would have to configure in alert team would be the template if none of the terms that we already have by default were valid. In our case, we will use critical condition that comes by default. Now just add the alerts to the models or policies that you want and when the terms are met you will receive a message in your Telegram application. In our case we're going to force an alert trigger so that we can see how the message is displayed and that it arrives instantly with information defined in the action through the macros. As you can see, once configured, the message reaches Telegram directly from the application and you may use the same command and the same action that you have created to send messages about the status of any of your metrics using Pandora FMS macros in a simple way. And that was it for today's video. Don't forget it, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Remember that if you're interested in trying Pandora FMS Enterprise, you may contact us to get a free 30-day trial. Thank you very much for your time and we hope to see you on social media and in future learning videos.